Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on using the Embedded Signup Integration Helper. This tool simplifies the process of integrating WhatsApp Embedded Signup, guiding you from start to finish. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to send messages through your WhatsApp business account. The Embedded Signup Integration Helper is designed with multiple sections, each outlining a key step in the process. You can find the Embedded Signup Integration Helper on developers.facebook.com in the WhatsApp ES Integration section. To access WhatsApp Embedded Signup, users must be either a business solution provider or tech provider who has accepted the terms of service and has added the Facebook login or business product to their app. Let's walk through each section to understand how to complete the integration. We begin with the Business and App Status section. Here, you can check the current status of your business verification, app review, and integrity. In this example, the business is verified, the app has passed review, and integrity is in good standing. If any of these are incomplete, it may block the integration process, so ensure all statuses are up to date. Next is the App Setup section. The first step here is to create a Facebook login configuration for your business. You can either select an existing configuration or create a new one, which will be used in your WhatsApp embedded signup. Once your Facebook login is configured, you will need to allow list the domain from which you will be integrating with the embedded signup. Make sure to add your allowed domain here so that the embedded signup can launch correctly from your platform. If the domain is not specified, the signup process will fail. Although not critical for a live app, you can assign administrators or developers to your app in the App Roles section. This ensures the right people have access to manage the app settings and test the app while it's still in the development phase. The next section outlines the necessary steps to integrate the embedded signup into your front end. The first task is to integrate the Facebook JavaScript SDK into your application. This SDK enabled Facebook login flow onto which the embedded signup was built. In the System User Token section, you will need to generate a System User Token by going to the Business Setting Portal. An access token is an opaque string that identifies a user, app, or page and can be used by the app to make graph API calls. A System User Access Token allows your app to perform certain actions, like adding payment methods, creating pre-verified phone numbers, or fetching all the WhatsApp business accounts that belong to your Meta Business Portfolio. Copy this token and store it securely. The next feature we'll explore is pre-verified phone numbers. This functionality allows you to pre-verify a phone number before launching the embedded signup. Simply enter the phone number, verify it, and it will be ready to use. For your convenience, the tool provides code examples in multiple languages, such as curl, JavaScript, PHP, Python, and Java, so you can easily test API calls. For example, adding a pre-verified phone number within your development environment. Just copy the code, paste it into your terminal code editor, and run it to verify your phone number. Next, configure webhooks for your application. Webhooks notify you of updates to your WhatsApp business account, such as message deliveries or customer interactions. You can subscribe to different events based on your needs. But at minimum, you'll need to subscribe to message updates. Here, you can input data for your business that you would like to test. The Embedded Setup Code section is one of the most important parts of the tool. It includes all the necessary code to launch the embedded signup in your environment. You can copy the code directly and implement it in a project, such as the Glitch project linked here. After pasting the code in your Glitch project, ensure that your domain is allowed, and then you can launch the embedded signup from there. Now, let's launch the embedded signup. As you can see, the interface provides the familiar WhatsApp embedded signup flow. All required information, such as the pre-verified phone number and business details, is pre-filled, making the process seamless. Once the signup is complete, you'll receive important data, such as the session info, client ID, and phone number ID. The next step is using the returned code you will exchange for an access token which allows your app to send messages on behalf of the WhatsApp business account. Using the session info, you'll exchange the code for an access token. This token will be used to register the phone number, manage payment options, and subscribe the app to WhatsApp events. Now it's time to register the phone number with the WhatsApp business account. 
The tool allows you to verify whether a payment method is already attached. If not, you can attach a payment method and link it to the account. Once the phone number is registered and the payment method is set up, you're ready to send messages. Enter the phone number, send the message, and verify that it has been sent by checking your WhatsApp app. Finally, you can check the message history and API response to ensure the message was delivered successfully. Note, you can perform every Graph API call, such as sending a message, using the curl, JavaScript, PHP, Python, or Java examples. That's it! You've successfully integrated WhatsApp's embedded signup using the embedded signup integration helper. If you followed along, your app is now ready to send messages through WhatsApp Business. Thank you for watching.